I'm Scott from Powell with another weekly maintenance tip. This week's maintenance tip is going to be with the gearbox here on our filter system. What that gearbox does is rotates inside of the plates when you're doing a backwash. So we're going to discuss on how to fill up this gearbox using the different ports because sometimes you will have to refill the oil or replace the oil in that gearbox. The reason we're discussing how to fill this because the level of the oil in your gearbox, if it's not high enough, it will damage that gearbox and you'll have trouble. That will cause downtime. Due to the different mounting ways that you can mount this, they made it universal by putting many different fill ports. So the manual doesn't describe very well which port you're going to fill these the oil with so this is what I'm going to discuss next is which ports do you need to use to fill this gearbox properly the gearbox takes a specific type of oil and a certain interval when the oil needs to be changed refer to your manual to find out which oil that you need and the specific interval that you need to change the oil if you can't find your manual feel free to contact us here at Powell and we can find one for you the gearbox has two different chambers it has an upper chamber and a lower chamber. And what's separating the two chambers, there's a bearing right here. Uh, with that bearing, it makes it difficult for the oil to go from one chamber to the next for filling. So filling is, takes some considerable amount of time because the oil is thick and it has a hard time getting through the seals of the bearings. What you're going to do, you're going to start out by removing the uppermost plug out of the lower chamber unit this so happens to be here is this one right here with the blue vent cap in it next you're gonna remove the the middle for lack of better word plug of the upper chamber which is here do not get it confused with this plug and there's also another plug that's higher up on on the opposite side be sure you're moving removing this plug right here the amount of oil depends on the gearbox in use. So add the oil slowly to the lower chamber, which you're gonna remember is this port right here, you're gonna add the oil into <laughs> until it comes out of this port right here. And remember it also takes a, quite some time for the oil to get from one chamber to the next because of that bearing. What you're going to do, you're going to start out, if it's if you have an empty on both chambers, you're going to start out by pouring about 15 ounces in and let the chambers equalize. And then you'll go eh, well, three ounces until oil starts coming out of here. If you're doing it where you're just trying to top off, you're going to start out with a little less in this in this port here until oil starts coming out of this chamber here after each time you add some oil let it sit for several minutes to make sure the oil has time to equalize between the upper and lower chamber once the oil starts coming out of this plug right here that is full clean up the excess oil off the equipment and put your plugs back in where they came from once the jobs are complete and the plugs are back in somewhere in your the manual or your maintenance log, write down the date and time and the amount of oil you put in at, at this job. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also comment below on future maintenance videos you would like to see us do. Also for more information, go to powellsolutions.com and stay tuned to next week for another maintenance video.